Hello, viewers. Welcome to The Federal. I managed to catch Mr. Joy Bhattacharya, renowned cricket writer and uh, analyst, to have a quick little chat about MS Dhoni and his stint at CSK. Welcome, sir. I would like to begin. I would like to begin by asking what what is it that works for CSK and MS Dhoni together? No, I think it's incredible. I think he does two things at the same time. One is he offers a huge amount of leadership in in terms of whatever he does for you know decision making in terms of how the team moves forward, the kind of players he wants. But he also brings a huge amount of calm to the team. You know, when Dhoni is there, you know that the game is never lost, the series is never lost, there's always another opportunity, there's always another calm. One of the biggest problems with the IPL and teams in that is it's a very high pressure environment. And people from outside come, they feel very nervous, you know, they get tense when matches are wrong. And Dhoni has this incredible ability to be able to keep his team calm and relaxed through the best and worst of situations. And that ability is absolutely unparalleled. You know, that it makes such a huge difference to the team. Right. Interesting. And uh, one one interesting aspect to note is that perhaps, I don't know whether it is over the years that MS Dhoni has evolved that way or if he has a special bond with CSK, but uh, the display of emotions. MS, MS is known as a man who like rarely emotes you know, on the cricket field. Like over the years when he's led India, we've seen that. But when it comes to CSK, you know, maybe lifting uh, Jadeja last year after CSK won the title, or be it, you know, uh, the grand gesture that, uh, you know, uh, he shows to the fans a lot of times, you know, he's playing little these teasing games with the fans. Or how do you see this? Is it because he feels like he has a special connect with CSK or has he like loosened up over the years? Uh, he does definitely have a special thing. Because see, when you play for India, you expect it to be loved by Indian fans. It's not something that you don't expect. And, you know, you do work for India. But for him to be a northerner, to be loved, and I'll be very honest with you, you know, I have no, the kind of unconditional love that Dhoni has got in Chennai is unparalleled even in the IPL, even with other teams. Yes, people will say that Virat Kohli. There's an admiration for Virat Kohli, okay? And, but Virat Kohli is also questioned. Okay. Dhoni is not questioned at all. I mean, Dhoni and the beauty of it is Dhoni is not even questioned by his own franchise. I mean, the franchise officials, and I know them all very well, you know, from Kashi and all from 15 years back. And all Dhoni has to say, jump, and they will say, how high? And that, that is something. So they have unquestioned belief in him. You know, you meet them, they'll say, if Thala wants to play till he's 45, he'll play till he's 45. Because Thala would never tell us he'll play till he's 45 unless he was sure he'd be fit enough to play. So that unshakable faith. So there's love in a lot of teams. But in terms of pure faith, the faith that, I mean, people, not just people, but even the franchise has shown in Dhoni is something that is unparalleled in the history of the IPL. Even for all these two championships, in 2018, when a tough decision had to be made, KKR allowed Gautam Gambhi to go. Okay. Gautam Gambhi was 36 at the time or 37 at the time. I mean, you look at it in the same way. Uh, Dhoni, they don't even think about it. It is not even an option. If Dhoni wants to play, he will play. And he will play as long as he wants to. So that is unquestioning. You know? uh, if you look at the new coaching stuff that has come to RCD, that perhaps is not a decision necessarily taken directly by Sir Virat Kohli. You know, he may not have had a say in it. But can you imagine the CSK coaching staff changing without Dhoni wanting, uh, without Dhoni having a say? So when you say love, love from a city comes from two parts. One part of the love comes from the fans, which is fantastic. Another part of the love comes from the unconditional acceptance of whatever he says and does by the franchise. And they have a reason to believe do do that because he has given them everything over all these years without questioning as well. So I think that relationship is so symbiotic; it helps both so much that it's unparalleled in the history of the tournament. Right. And uh, talking about you know Dhoni having this unconditional love from Chennai fans, but the overall uh, you know the fans of other franchises and perhaps even a little section of the CSK fans are also like questioned. Uh, why is MS Dhoni like, you know, 
if he is not 100% fit why should he play this this question has been raised by you know some experts as well what do you have to say about that so i'll i'll talk about this year you know because year by year different situations are there and if you talk about last year you don't even want to talk about it because if he's good enough to win a championship clearly they're doing something right okay so i will not even go there this year you have one very young wicket keeper okay okay who requires at least 2 3 years to now build himself into playing being an ipl player you have conway who's injured now if dhoni does not keep okay and does not play at 7 then that team does not stand he knows that with pills with everything he's capable still a more than capable keeper it is just that the knees and the problem of his legs does not allow him to run too much so that's what he's doing he's still there secondly i think dhoni is very keen this year to make sure what happened you know with jadeja half way through and didn't work that this time he wants to make sure that it happens successfully you know last time what happened with jadeja and i think he's chosen very well because for whatever leave results aside for a change the same calmness that we saw in the early dhoni rituraj has that calmness he has the same qualities i mean nobody will be another dhoni and it's foolish to think that way but the same qualities i'm seeing in him in terms of calmness so i think right now what ms wants to do is just see this team through that transition period and i think that's why he's playing this year doesn't matter so much whether they win they lose but i think he feels it important to take responsibility for this transition and speaking about ms dhoni the man um during his time at csk and uh, let's say when he started captaining india perhaps how 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 do you see the transition as a person that he has gone through because you know at one point when at the beginning of his career he was a man who says you know we showed the haters what we can do and then he became a man you know over uh, mature enough to say that you know nothing else matters only the process matters that's the kind of transition he's gone through what what what's your view on ms dhoni the man see i mean i wrote a book about him and what i did was it's very interesting is a lot of what i tried to do is not to try and give my opinion of dhoni because there's so many opinions but what i tried to do is put together people who have seen him in his younger years people who have seen him in different stages and put together what is it is to beat that man and people like deep das gupta you know wrote on it balaji wrote and there's some beautiful parts to it you know and one of the things that ba- dhoni was always there up front and still there is he was very very clear that he would take charge of his own destiny so this is great incident he says where you know it's between kartik and him about who gets selected and kartik is playing for india a and he's playing for india b or c one of those and balaji is bowling and kartik edges the ball and he goes to second slip uh, first slip and it gets dropped okay and the next time balaji said there was an edge the ball was literally going to second slip okay but dhoni took the catch he went across and took the catch because he said the attitude was whether i take the catch or i drop the catch this must be in my hands the decision of success or failure is in my hands nobody else is dropping it or taking that catch i will take it myself so that is something that was always there with him but you're right you know balaji mentioned specifically the process part saying that you know once he bowled a bad ball which went for four he was saying that ball went for four and he said it's not your fault the previous ball what had happened there was a single to be taken there was a misfield that double allowed this player back to come back on strike and at that point in time you gave it away and so he he understands he goes back he he analyzes his ability to analyze beyond and beyond and beyond is very strong and thirdly he's put together not just a team in terms of te- technical knowledge it's also in terms of temperament i mean he and fleming are such a good pair for each other because they complement each other almost totally in the way they think about the game right if you could sum up ms dhoni's relation with csk in one word if you could pick one word or maybe two three words what would it be if i said one word i'd say symbiotic because you know both people have gained hugely from this relationship and i think that is the most important thing that ms dhoni's fandom fame has never been at the expense of csk and csk has never gained at the expense of dhoni both have gained and loved from this relationship right thank you for your time mr jay patacharya thank you thank you so much